And now after this uh, two whole step bend or major third bend, you play the uh, 14th fret second third string and then there is a run. It starts from the 12th fret uh, 3rd string, then 14th fret 4th string. And then you put your middle finger on the 13th fret, so 13, 14, 13 to 14 is a hammer on. So it's a hammer on pull off thing, a legato. 13, hammer on, 14, pull off, 13, pull off, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. So in a group of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and a 2, and a like this. So get this part down slowly. Alright, then. Then 13, 12. 10 on the 4th string. 1, 2, 3, 4. In a group of fours, it's going on one, two, three, four. So 13, 12, 10 on the fourth string, and then 12 on the fifth string. So let's join from this part slowly. Then another four notes. 12, 10 on the 4th string and 12, 10 on the 5th string. You can do pull off as well. Alright. Then this lick ends with a quarter step bend on the 10th fret 4th uh, string. And then 12th fret 5th string, pull off to 10th fret 5th string and back to 12th fret. So play it in time. So if it's too fast then you won't be able to take a quarter step bend. So based on the situation you do it. If you are doing it slow then you need it in order to get the vibe. Alright, so this is how this run is played. Alright, so this is the vibe. And then you go to the 15th fret, 2nd string. and bend it up a whole step and don't release the bend hold it and bring your little finger on the 15th fret first string and pluck it twice all right and then you again pluck the bent string and pull it off to the 13th fret. It's a bit tricky, so take your time. Alright. Second time, bend, pick twice, bring it back, and slide from the 13th to 12th on the second string so so here the lick is you you can slide from the <clears throat> 12th fret fourth string this is a major trial so there are a lot of things we need to know and if you uh, want to learn guitar properly and if you are looking for some theory lessons then please check out the link below i have a course called uh, basic theory which you can check out available at my website musiccircle.in and you can also 
you know check out some soloing courses where i have talked about using pentatonic scale and i have also created a lesson on you know eric johnson style licks so i have discussed you know how you can use your scales and apply it if you want to improvise all right so feel free to check the links below and if you like the preview then you can definitely get yourself a copy of you know digital copy of the lessons that i am offering anyway so this is this is f major triad all right so after you slide from the 12th to 14th fret you play 13th on the third string and 12th on the second string then with the help of your middle finger you slide from the 13th to 15th fret on the second string and again the 13th fret and 12th fret on the second string and make sure you bring your first finger on the 13th fret because you know the fingering matters then now you are playing the f triad i'm sorry i said f this one this is actually e triad by mistake i said f so forgive me so and here you keep track of the fingering i'll slow it down for you and now you play the notes 13th fret on the second string 14th fret on the third string and 15th fret on the fourth string so 13 14 15 all right or you can slide so after e then you bar uh across the first and second string on the 13th fret so let's join this part so after you play the first string 13th fret and second string 13th fret and then you uh, play a whole step bend on the 15th fret um second string and then bring it back so as if then again the pre bend that we did before at the beginning same thing ha happens here Rebend 15th fret, bring it back to 15th fret and pull it off to the 13th fret. All right. So pre-bend 15th fret, bring it back to 15th fret and pull it off to 13th fret on the second string. And then a standard blues lick. You come back to the A minor pentatonic shape one position. where you bend the 8th fret second string up a whole step so in order to play these kind of bends very clean what you need to do is after you feel that this bent note has reached its you know destination you need to pause it and then grab the first uh, string 5th fret and then you pull it off from the 8th to 5th fret on the uh, second string after this again same thing you know as before a pre bend on the 7th fret third string 
pull it off to the fifth fret you know third string and then this thing's a double stop bend what i'm doing here is i'm plucking the seventh fret on the second and the third string and bring it down so you can also use your third and fourth finger to do the same and see once you feel that it has reached the destination mute it otherwise it will sound weird see we don't want this sound if you do it with one note it sound like this if you do it with two note all right so this is the solo you know although it's simple yet it uses some intricate techniques which you need to work on so work on your bending you know if it's not happening properly so what you need to do i'll repeat once again for example if you are playing a whole step bend from the 7th fret 3rd string then first check the sound and while bending always make sure you have the support of multiple fingers otherwise it's very difficult if i want to bend it with with one finger it's too difficult and most of the time you know it will go out of pitch so see look at my finger i'm grabbing the string with my three first three fingers and one more important thing i'll tell you is keep your first finger kind of floating so that generally what happens for beginners if you are trying it first time the strings you know get over your fingernail sometimes it hurts and most of the time you know when you bring it back you will get the sound of an open string which we don't want so if you keep your finger you know first finger above the string adjacent to the string uh, which you are playing like string above see the way i'm keeping it it takes some time to develop this and if you can develop this then it will sound pretty clean all right so i'm just giving you some examples so you can work on it here also see my finger is above the the third string not below it see this is what happens so i hope uh, this video helps and please feel free to check out the links below and if you are stuck then you can you know get in touch with us for skype lessons and if you are in calcutta or pune then you can Uh, join our institute and that's about it for today and i'll see you soon